Hi everyone, this is Tali Shemes. This is the first time I'm talking on my video. And to tell you the truth, I'm very, very nervous. So I hope everything goes well. Today I'm going to show you how to draw one-eyed minion and how to color it with Copic markers. I'm starting with the shape of his head, which is a little bit uh, like a bun shape. Anyway, a minion to me looks like a bun wearing overall. To draw his goggles, I will start with a round shape and then I'll make another round shape, just a little bit bigger than the first one. And then I'm going to connect it to the strap around his head. Just a quick note about this video, there are some parts that are time-lapsed. I did it because um, I just realized making this video how slowly I draw, so I didn't want this video to be too long. So in some parts, like the inking process for example, I didn't think there was something to explain, so I just went ahead and time-lapsed it. So after finishing with the strap around his head, I'm gonna go and draw the eye. I'm just gonna indicate where it is exactly inside the goggles, and then draw the pupil. The mouth is very simple, it's just a line that is a little bit curved. Now I'm going to start drawing his arms. I'm going to leave his hands for later because I want to see how the body looks like and then I know if I need to extend the arms or make them shorter so I'll go back to the hands later now I'll be drawing the overall I'm going to start with the straps from the sides they're coming from the back and they're going to connect to a part of the overall that is in the front I'm trying to make sure that the straps are almost the same height. It doesn't have to be exact, but I don't want it to look weird. I hope you guys are enjoying my video so far and maybe even learning something from it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about my video or what do you think about me speaking in my future videos because I'm not sure I'm even doing it right. I feel like I'm speaking too slow because I need to translate everything I want to say in my head to English and that makes it very difficult. But I'm pretty sure I'll get better as I go. So I'll be waiting to hear from you in the comments and I promise I will read every one of them. Now back to the minion, I'm starting to draw his legs, which are very tiny. I don't understand how they can hold a body that big, but anyway. I'm gonna put some shoes on his feet and he's almost ready to go. Now as I promised we're going back to his hands. He's wearing gloves which makes it very very easy to draw because I'm having difficulties drawing hands. I don't know why but as much as I practice it's very difficult for me. So thank you Minion for having gloves. That's very thoughtful of you. As you can see, when I'm drawing the hands, I'm making sure that they are at the same height. Um, looking at it now, it doesn't look like I did a good job. <laughs> but my intentions were good. Now I'm drawing the pocket with the Gru's uh, logo inside. And adding some more details like the pockets, the buttons, and of course the hair. Which is just a few strands but gives the minions so much character. Now I'm ready to ink, and as I said before, I'm going to time-lapse this part, and I'll be joining you again for the coloring. Before I start coloring, I like to look at my color chart of Copic markers and make some tests to see some color combinations and how they look together and this is what I'm doing now I'm testing out some colors some different tones so I can blend them easily and they will look good together in this drawing I don't have that many colors it's just the yellow the blue and the gray so it doesn't take that long there are some drawings that I do I have so many colors, sometimes it takes me half an hour just to choose the colors and find the right combinations. To be able to blend well, I like to choose three tones of each color. 
I chose the three tones of yellow, three tones of blue, and three tones of gray. Usually when I color, I like to start with the lightest tone and then go in with the middle one and at the end go in with the dark one. When you start with the lightest one, you can always go back and correct things or add darker colors. But when you start off with a dark color, it's very, very difficult to go back to lighter ones. So that's my way of doing it. Another reason I like to start with the lightest tones is because it's like putting down a foundation layer, which makes it easier later to blend the other colors with it. Now I'm using the Y13 as my lightest color, and then I'll be going in with the Y15, which is a little bit darker, this is the middle one, and then I'm gonna go in with the Y19, which is the darkest one. Just realized I forgot to add these little screws on the Minion's goggles. I'm gonna color them with gray later, so the yellow color will be covered. Continuing with the Y15, which is the middle tone, for some more shadows. My light source is coming from the front. It's a, bit, a little bit to the left, not exactly the front, so that's why you can see the right side of the minion is darker, and the left side is just has just a little bit of shadow. This is the Y19, the darkest uh, tone that I chose, which gives it a little bit of depth. Now I'm coming back with the lightest tone to blend all the colors, to just go over all the layers and make it a nice gradient. This is what I like about Copic markers, you can go over the colors again and again and nothing will happen to the paper, you won't get uh, pieces of paper on your marker, everything will stay smooth and nice. I'm coloring the screws of the goggles with N4. I'm not gonna do any blending there because it's too small. For the round part of the goggles, I'm going to use N2 as my lightest color and N4 as the darkest. Then I'm going to go in with N0 just to blend the colors together and give them a smooth look. Now for the straps around his head, I'm going to use N4 as the lightest tone, N6 will be the middle, and N8 will be the darkest one. As I explained before, you can see that also now I'm starting off with the lightest color, only then I'm going in with the middle one, and at the end I'll use the darkest one. After I use all three tones, I can go back with the lightest one or the middle one and blend them all together. Sometimes to blend I like to use an even lighter color, just like I did here, I went back with N2 for the blending. Coloring the overall is the same thing, I'm going in with the B93, which is my lightest color, I'm laying a nice layer all over the overall parts, and then I'm gonna go in with the B95, which is my middle color, and at the end I'll use B97 for the dark tones. The shoes and the gloves I'm going to color the same way I colored the goggle straps.
to color the eye I used E43 for the light color and E57 for the dark color. And then for the white part of the eye I like to add N0 which gives a feeling of depth to the eye. Finally for the background I'm going to use a flex marker. It's the name of the color is meadow green. I use flex markers for the backgrounds because I bought some flex markers and I don't like them that much. So if I need to draw backgrounds or big surfaces I like to use my flex markers. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from my video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!